Hi everyone, my name is Valid and I'm here to represent our work called Domain Alignment for Few Short Classification. This work was jointly done with Jochen, Iniko, Richard, Tomaso, Suvin, and Louis. Before I dive into the details of the method, I need to tell you what CLIP is. Uh, CLIP is an image text representations learning model that learns to align uh, these representations in a joint embedding space. So given some images and their corresponding textual description, you pass them uh, through their corresponding encoders, so text and visual encoder, and you match these embeddings uh, via dot product um, and try to maximize the similarity between the corresponding representations of images and text and while uh, keeping them afar uh, far from the uh, non-aligned images or non-corresponding image, uh, images and text. Uh, this sort of um, uh, training or pre-training is uh, helpful for uh, a lot of different uh, uh, tasks, uh, downstream tasks. Uh, and this pre-training was done on 400 million image text pairs uh, scraped from web. Um, in the next slide, I will sh uh, talk about how zero shift classification with CLIP actually works. So given a new data set, let's say ImageNet, you have a few labels from it. So in ImageNet, we have 1,000 labels. Um, and those labels uh, could be uh, like these. Um, and then you pass them through the uh, frozen text encoder and um, store them uh, separately. So basically, you get a text cache of n uh, class labels. Uh, here, d is the dimensions of the embeddings. Um, and this is mathematical formulation. Uh, now, to classify a new image uh, that uh, belongs to the uh, that comes from the data set, you pass it. Uh, you pass that image through a visual encoder, uh, gets the corresponding embedding, and then this embedding gets matched with all the labels uh, embeddings in the textual cache. Uh, and the similarity score uh, determines which uh, this class this image belongs to, uh, and that's the mathematical uh, formulation. Um, now, a few short classification setup is different from zero short. Um, in few short classification, in addition to there's just class labels, we are also provided with uh, with a few labeled images from this data set. So here, n cross k, uh, few short images are available, and k corresponds to the number of images per, uh, available for each class. Um, and we can, uh, similar to the textual cache, we can pre-compute those embeddings for vision for images and store them as a visual cache. Uh, here, uh, that's what uh, the mathematical formation, formulation looks like. And then you can now foresee that this visual cache can also act as a classifier. So uh, whenever you have a, like, uh, when, you, when you have a new image called, for example, image embedding C image, you can actually match this image embedding to the embeddings in, stored in visual cache and uh, get the similarity score similar to uh, zero short clip before and using that similarity score you can determine which uh, class this image belongs to um, this method was introduced uh, in tip adopter uh, that's linked here down uh, in the slide and this um, uh, paper basically um, uh, introduced an ensemble of intermodal uh, that is inter image text alignment um, uh, that was introduced in CLIP, intermodal plus intramodal, which is image-image alignment um, ensemble. And this overall uh, logic is basically uh, leads to the TIP adopter classifier. Uh, TIP adopter also introduced uh, further fine-tuning of this visual cache. So you can treat those visual cache uh, embeddings as uh, learnable parameters and um, update and optimize them to improve the overall classification performance of TIP. Um, that's called TIP adopter F in the paper. And we show that uh, we observe that this classifier uh, when, uh, actually makes the visual cache lose its discriminative capability. So as I mentioned before, that visual cache alone can work as a classifier. Uh, here we see that uh, the clip uh, cache uh, um, that was uh, un like, uh, that's just from the clip embeddings. Uh, um, we can use it as a classifier and get some reasonable accuracy on zero uh, on on ImageNet dataset. So if you have let's say sixteen classes, uh, sixteen images available for each class, you can actually get up to 42, 43 percent accuracy using this visual cache. Uh, on the other hand, tip adopter when after fine tuning actually uh, reduces its performance to roughly fifteen percent. Um, 
this uh, significant drop in performance for the visual cache uh, is something that led us to uh, to improve this performance using an intermodal classifier intermodal fine tuning so we divided uh, we in, now uh, we introduce we introduce our method DAC, which basically divides this uh, optimization uh, into separate intermodal and intramodal uh, fine tuning so in the first stage in intramodal fine tuning we introduce a linear layer on top of frozen image encoder clip image encoder and try to map images from coming from the same class together in the embedding space uh, and this contrastive objective also ensures that these embeddings uh, are further or far away from the uh, embeddings of the other classes so these two images uh, belong to another class of dog uh, so and they should be lie, uh, lying separately or um, further for, uh, from the um, embeddings of this particular class um, and this um, optimized uh, embeddings are basically much more um, discriminative in nature because they understand the visual uh, attributes of each classes um, and that's what we uh, and the visual corresponding visual cache is shown here we call it w image DAC. Um, we also show that uh, the TSNE, TSNE embeddings of these uh, resulting from our uh, method basically show well-refined or well-formulated uh, groups uh, clusters of uh, embeddings uh, that adds that that shows that uh, there is more structure now um, we uh, similar to tape adopter we basically combine uh, this now improved intermodal classifier with intermodal classifier of clip and we call it dac b um, and we um, after afterwards in the second stage we actually also improve the textual embeddings um, of, uh, to improve the inter intermodal class uh, classification performance uh, so remember that we uh, so tip adopter uh, actually overlooked the um, uh, the optimization of this part uh, and the way we do it is by just updating the parameters uh, the textual embeddings uh, of uh, of the model uh, so it's um, using the same future classification objective uh, as a downstream task um, and these two stages are done separately. So um, the intermodal and inter, intram, intramodal and intermodal uh, fine tuning, uh, so to not to perf uh, affect the performance of each other. Um, and the overall uh, classifier that we have, uh, we end up with uh, looks like this. So basically, we perform intermodal classification with uh, DAC visual cache and intermodal classification with DAC text cache. Uh, and that's how the mathematical formulation looks like. Now let's look at the results, like how it performs. So we see that on ImageNet, DACVT actually gains roughly two to three percent, uh, one percent, one and a half percent more over ImageNet in ImageNet accuracy over Tip Adopter F. Uh, but uh, when aggregated, uh, we observe uh, over eleven uh, different data set. We observe that the uh, DACVT. Uh, outperforms uh, tip adopter f by roughly 2.3 percent uh, uh, on average and uh, DAC, even DAC v which is uh, just the intermodal uh, uh, improved intramodal classifier uh, actually also improves by one one percent uh, that's here um, uh, the results on 11 data set, uh, 10 data sets that we see uh, we also observed robustness to, robustness to distributional shifts. So intramodal classifier actually improved the robustness, and that is visible here in DAC V results. Uh, DAC VT uh, also performs well, but some uh, loses the accuracy on some of the data sets, and this could be the textual adoption is a bit more prone to um, uh, to uh, distributional shifts than the visual. Uh, um, we also perform ablations, and uh, here the diamond indicates the the um, default setting of clip, and um, we we can you sh you can see that when combined with all the um, uh, introduced features, uh, we get the best overall performance. Uh, we also uh, ablated the number of augmented views, so each embedding image was augmented uh, seven times, and that is the most optimal uh, setting for visual cache as a classifier, and then also textual cache. cache and the overall classification accuracy as well. This, this is for the ensemble accuracy. 
Uh, so we presented an inter uh, like uh, a clip a few short adaptation mo uh, method for clip, which basically improves both intramodal and intramodal classification separately. Uh, and we show that this is also not only good for the uh, overall downstream performance for classification, but, all, but also the robustness of distributional shift. Uh, the gain comes at the neglig negligible cost of uh, tuning additional linear layer, uh, but um, in inference time, it's not uh, a big issue. If you are interested in uh, finding more details, please uh, feel free to reach out uh, and see, or see or check out our paper. Uh, thanks a lot.